and gentlemen, I am at VW Claremont with probably one of my favorite SUVs of all time. They've been around for about 16 years and I think this is the fifth edition of it, um, the VW TIG one. So you can see it behind me, but I'm gonna give you, I'll give you a nice breakdown um, of, yeah, like I said, of the features. And then you can see if it's something that speaks to you. So, I saw this, the new TIG one, about a week ago here at VW, and the first thing that came to mind was the size. It does feel a bit smaller, or looks a bit smaller, than the previous versions. So, it also has a sort of, like, slicker design. Um, if you come around the front, in actual fact, when I, when I saw it, the first thing that came to mind was sort of Eevee. Um, it kind of has that, that, that sort of look, that design, but you know, the electrical vehicles, but it gives a sort of a softer feel. Um, so this is the life version. It's not the R line. Of course, you get the R line and maybe drop a picture of it. The one that I took a photo of last week. Um, the obviously the R line looks a little bit more aggressive, a little bit sportier. Um, I must admit, I've never truly been a fan of the R line versions. Um, I've never had one. I've had more of the off road versions. Um, Apologies. So yeah, it, I, I've always had the off-road version and always found, found them to be a little bit better for my liking. Um, now, of course, not everybody would feel that way. Sort of different design of the wheels. Um, I don't know, I must admit, is it a little bit boring? I think some people might some, find something that's a little bit sportier. Um, but then again, this is not what this version is kind of speaking to. So it comes down to the individual. But I, I'm quite liking this. Um, I actually was, was busy reversing in early and I got a picture of the, the lights. And again, they look, they really do look quite good. Um, sort of very, very modern look. got the electronic tailgate that really does come in handy especially you know mine has that also and I find especially if I go to the shops I'm carrying some heavy stuff um, a simple press of the button and there it goes up and does look also pretty fancy so here's a button for those of you who don't know you can press the button and it will come down but now I'm trying to get it to operate with my foot and I think you normally swipe or you put your foot here somewhere so that's clearly not working now. Well, I don't know how to work it because I just got it right with my foot. But that's something cool. So if you carry heavy bags, you just sort of move your foot there um, and you don't have to look for your keys. But as I said, if you really want to, you just operate it with the button. It comes down nice and smooth. So you can use the, use the button on the, the boot. You can use the remote. Um, so yeah, multifunctional. So when we come inside, one of the reasons I've always loved VW and probably will stick with it for, you know, for years to come is the bold quality. Um, you know, just the padding of the, the arm, the, the arm this in the, in the door. You know, even when you come inside, um, you know, if you feel the, the dashboard, it's always very solid. Um, it doesn't give you that sort of tinnish feel doesn't feel empty um, it's quite solidly built and you will find that with even very very old models um, you know they will still be in really good condition as opposed to unfortunately some of your your other brands um, so yes you can maybe buy cheaper um, but how long does it actually last so when you come to the inside everything feels like it's a really good quality um, it's well built it's well presented um, that, you know, not just the dash but even the is it's called the lower dash or the center console everything is well built strong so I must admit this does feel a little bit light um, and I'm hoping that it is well built enough to last for many years um, I also like this you know there's storage underneath and you get your USBs and you can drop it and you can then put your phone here um, I'm not sure if it has Wi-Fi charging, but they often do. And normally you would then just slide your phone in here. Um, again, it's got the Climatronic um, and it's the sort of touch sensor buttons. 
also if you come to the center if we look at Scott the the arm this that does come out so I'm trying to so you can then obviously sit a bit more comfortable um, and the, this place for your your cups also it's actually a lot of storage space if I look at it I think this one's got a little bit more space than my older version um, this one's got cloth seats it does not have a sunroof uh, but I'm pretty sure that you can spec them and get a sunroof um, but yeah it's got cloth seats comfortable uh, but I do find that leather generally is a little bit easier to maintain and clean you can check it's got these sort of blue lights in here and I'm actually wondering if you can change them um, actually that's not blue it's purple um, so it would actually be quite cool I'm pretty sure that you can change the spec so at night that must look incredibly um, incredibly cool if you come to the back it's really it's quite spacious in the back it's also got your your rear um, aircon or rear vents for aircon so again because it's day you can't necessarily see it too bright but there are lights in the door handles so somebody you might, i mean you might ask why but the nice thing is when you obviously unlock the vehicle then it, it actually gives nice ambience um, but you also feel a sense of safety at night and i think that's the reason okay so this is actually a volume knob as you can see and i mean obviously complex is going to give me a youtube uh, copyright strike but um <laughs> but the quality of the sound is pretty damn amazing so actually here's the uh, the gear lever interesting i must admit so i haven't driven this car and i'm not sure how i would feel about that but it could actually work quite well again new technology new um yeah new experiences i guess what i do like it's got um in terms of cruise control where you can actually set it uh, to follow the vehicle in front of you so we get it's a lot of features and the layout you know when i'm sitting here i, I feel like i earn um, a lot more than what i do but it gives you a touch of class elegance um yeah i i feel like i'm doing well in life although this is a, although this is somebody else's vehicle obviously uh well actually not it's vw's for now um and i'm sure they're hoping to sell it relatively soon um again nice this looks more like it's a 10 inch monitor it might even be 12 um so it's massive um you know i've got one that's probably like half the size um you know this th this feels like it could work you can feel like you could watch tv on you so as you can see it's got a lot of safety features it's got side assist so lane change system um i remember having that on my t-dock the nice thing is it keeps you in the lane so I don't advise it but you didn't need to steer you could actually leave the steering wheel and it would actually keep you in the lane front assist so you know if you get too close to a car it's going to slow you down and obviously do an emergency brake um, if necessary so again really really cool features um, I don't know if this one has it but I know the Tiguan odd line um, but again it depends on the spec of the vehicle um, it has seat massages like I think that for me is just one really good reason to buy the vehicle um, and then again you know your eco mode your comfort your sport and uh, you know for me driving in eco mode in mine it does save you quite a bit of um, petrol uh, or diesel um, you know diesel petrol both expensive nowadays and you know if you can train change if you can save a little bit then you know why not so you can change the ambience or as it's called your atmospheres um, so you can change it to purple and then you have the purple sort of underlighting as you can see and if you change it to joy you know it goes pinkish and then your red, your blue um, and, and so these are more blue can't necessarily see it that well on the camera um, but again it's really it's actually really nice um, you know, VW could offer me one just to drive for a little bit and don't see it wouldn't harm anybody um, but again it, it feels really spacious it feels really comfortable so when I'm looking at it now um, and again I'm comparing it to previous models probably I actually really like the shape of this it feels a little bit more slick um, in, in comparison to mine the older version um, which feels a little bit blockish 
Um, so this feels like it's got softer lines, um, just has a sort of more modern look. But actually, I'm a big fan. Um, probably always will be a big fan of all the TIG ones. Um, this is the 1.4 uh, petrol. Again, I think it's 110 kilowatts. So it makes a reasonable power. It's going to get you from A to B um, quite comfortably and, and economically. But of course, some people want more grunt. They want the 2 litre. Um, and then obviously you get the diesel version that in its own can also be quite a nice one. So I've got diesel um, and again it's quite a nice drive. So just last thing, in terms of the car, it does have back and front park assist and then also it's got cameras dual view cameras having said that a lot of these extras come standard with a vehicle i am going to try and get the price and then drop it um but i think this one's got what they call the life package so it's about fifteen thousand rand extra um so sorry when i say standard um probably a slight added package um, but I think this is significantly less uh, in comparison to what you needed to pay in the past. So just a sort of interesting approach by VW. So that's the new 1.4 VW Tiguan Life. Let me know what's your thoughts. Is it something you would be interested in? Is it something that you would set your eyes on? Do you think they're worth the, worth the cost? Worth the cost?